Hey, boys and girls, it's Miss Jean. I'm here with Percy and with Bonnie, and we all hope you're having as much fun learning about Moses as we are. So let's get right into the Bible. Let's get right into God's holy word and keep learning about Moses. So ready? This book is the Bible. It's God's holy word. I open its pages to stories I've heard. I like to hear stories of Jesus, God's son. I thank God for giving his word to each one, to each one of you, Annabeth and Caleb and Charlie and Clara and Ivy and Nolan, and even Percy and Bonnie. So let's get on with the story of Moses. Remember last week, God gave Moses a big, big job to do. He was going to use, God was going to use Moses to lead his people out of Egypt into a new place called Canaan. But how did, God, do you remember how God feels about this? I don't know. Percy doesn't know. So let's tell him Moses was very afraid of such a big God, but God promised to be with Moses and help him. Remember, he sent his brother Aaron to be with Moses. And when God went back to Egypt, he went to his people, the Hebrews, and told them about God's plan for them to leave. They were so excited and happy to hear this. But do you think Pharaoh was happy? Do you think the king who was making the Hebrews work for him was happy? No, no, says Percy, not at all. He said the Hebrews could not leave. He wanted them to be slaves. Remember, slaves are people who do other people's work. And he, so he, the Pharaoh wanted the Hebrews to do all his hard work. But then after a while, one night after many strange things had happened, Pharaoh knew he better let the people go. So he went to Moses and said, leave us, go away. And said, go all of you, take your flocks, take your herds, that means all their animals. And so all the moms and dads and brothers and sisters and animals had to hurry and pack up and get ready for their trip. It was time for them to go far away and they had to go quickly. So Moses and Aaron led them out of Egypt and the, all the people, all the animals, they all followed Moses. But do you think, would Moses know where to go? Mm -mm, not without God's help. So God showed the way. He put a big cloud in the sky for them to follow and it moved very slowly so the people could follow it. And so that was a sign that God was with them and he would take care of them. So they walked and they walked and they walked until they came to a big bit of water called the Red Sea. But how would they get across? They didn't have any boats. They had all the animals. So Moses prayed. Can you pray like Percy? He prayed to God. And Moses said, do not be afraid. Just stand and watch and you'll see the wonderful way I rescue you today. So Moses lifted his staff. Remember, a staff was the big stick that shepherds used to guide sheep. And so he, he held it up over the Red Sea, just like God told him. And God caused a big wind to blow. And as it blew, the water parted and the, a dry path along the bottom of the sea appeared. And the, so the people would walk across it since it was dry and they walked all the way to the other side of the sea. And when the last people had crossed, Moses lifted up his staff again. And as he did, both walls of water came through, tumbling down again. They were safe. So at last the people knew they were free. They knew it was God who saved them. And Moses wrote a beautiful song of praise to God and everyone sang and rejoiced. That means they were happy. They celebrated. And that night they stopped and set up tents. Have you ever been camping? It's like they were camping so they could rest and they looked way 
way up in the sky, and they were amazed. There was a bright pillar of fire that never went away. The pillar of fire gave them light to see in the dark. And this was another way God showed that he was with his people. During the day, there was a big cloud that kept them cool and out of the hot sun. And in the evening, there was a big cloud. And so that fire, it just, it, God was with them always. Day and night, the same cloud and the same fire led them. So, whew, the people were free. So, Percy and Bonnie are happy. I hope you're so happy too. So, ready? Let's all pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this story of Moses. And I'm looking forward to next week to see what comes next in his life. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, well, boys and girls, again, I hope you're having fun with these stories. And Percy and Bonnie and I will be back next week. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.